many people can do the uh, installation of MySQL if you want to practice. It's only an optional one, but if you want to be a spectator, no Chandra, I just want to practice, uh, watch this videos and uh, and we can move on. So now Nachiket is the presenter. Nachiket, please uh, share your screen. I want to take the control of it and I'll show you how to install and how to log in. Thank you. Just a minute. Uh, give me the control. And I would like to, this is getting recorded for everyone. It will be shared only with you people. Or I might put it in the YouTube channel of mine. But it will be not a good content, but it's still. So I'll click on this. So now I'll just cut this. I'll place in some other folder. I'll call it as software 2021. If you want to move it some other place, Nachiket, after installation. So it's very simple step. I'll give a right click, install. It hardly takes five minutes, not more than that. If you're using a Mac or Linux, uh, please let me know. I can help you people in the next session for five minutes. How to do it, where you should find the command and the rest of the things. But if you want, you can even uh, practice online, but I would suggest to do it in your local machine. You'll get a lot of online software nowadays. Okay. Let's wait for the next screen. Okay, MySQL installer 1.4, perfect. <clears throat> Everyone watch the screen. Since I want to just make you people work with basic things, I'll click on the custom. Uh, Nachiki, can you click on that custom radio button? Perfect, click next. Perfect, let me try whether I can use this. Okay, click on MySQL server plus symbol. That's simple. Yeah, click on, keep on clicking. Now select MySQL, keep on, okay, perfect. Click on that uh, MySQL, so perfect, sir. Click on, move it towards the right. There is an arrow. This is how you install. Okay, perfect. Click on next now. Perfect. Uh, click on execute. Click on execute. Perfect. There will be a software which will be downloaded and installed. Uh, supporting software, which is Microsoft Visual C++ software. It will be downloaded and it will be installed. It supports your, okay, click on this. I have read the license, click on install. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. I'll tell you, don't uncheck it. We don't want that to be sending. Click on install, perfect. Great. Click on finish. Click next. Perfect. Click on execute. Uh, for the people who knows it, it might be boring, but it's good that you people learn it. Click on next. Click on next. This is config. Now, everyone, there is a port number. Can you observe that? The port number is 3306 by default. Don't change it. Let it be. Let it be. That is the default port. Click on next. Remember the word port. We'll discuss on that. We are not changing anything. Now, this is the password given to a user called root. By default, MySQL comes with a username. That username is root, R double O T. Can you give the same password? I know there is a background sound. Uh, I'm really sorry for that. R double O T in lowercase. Completely in lowercase. Do it for the second one also. Just repeat the password. Click on next. No worries, it's a local machine. Click on next. 
click on execute click on finish click on next click on finish perfect sir can you click on the command prompt type mysql now sql enter so please observe this screen can you close this i i which case um just a minute Ajit, can you okay perfect just a minute just a minute now i can control like this i'm typing it can you just exit this Okay, I'll pin it to your taskbar. Now, if I try to log in to MySQL using a command, it is saying that MySQL is not recognized as internal or external command. There are multiple ways of doing it. I'll exit the command prompt and I'll go to C drive program files now i see this mysql go to mysql server bin i'll select this address bar right click copy i'll go to this pc again right click anywhere in the white area click on properties and what is the agenda of doing this is because we need to log into mysql and in this screen you need to select environmental variables I'll repeat this step because sometimes it might be. Uh, Nachiket, can you close this window? Close this window also. Perfect. Can you give a right click somewhere? Properties. Perfect. On the left hand side, select advanced system settings. Perfect. Click it. Thank you. Click on environmental variables. Perfect. Click it. Now, wait, wait. You have path. Just a minute. Can you click on that second one which says path? Click on edit. Edit button. Perfect. Click on new button. Paste it. Click on OK. OK, OK. OK button. OK button again. OK again. Close it. Now you have a command prompt in the bottom. Click it. Now type MySQL space minus U. Minus U stands for username space root R double O T space minus p enter press enter type the password root r double o t which you gave that's what everyone used because it's a local machine press enter now you are in mysql software can you type show databases command show space databases semicolon you don't see employees or a world correct Yes, perfect. Now, let me try to help you in downloading the sample data. To do that, I'll go to MySQL World Databases. Okay. Now I have this. Let me go to installation. 
on the left hand side and we have this one i want to download it ah here we have let me uh, copy this uh, let's get copy this and send it over the chat so that i can send the email to everyone easy to uh, go there copy this and send it over the chat to me okay now i'll be downloading two things here one is you can see uh, english extending mysql version 5.6 there is a zip file can you click on this zip file let's see okay? wait 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 i'll show you the third one third one 5.6 zip file yeah perfect okay it got downloaded perfect can you scroll down a bit okay we have world database also perfect the first one world database can you click on that zip file perfect can you type control j control j perfect we have two here extended chapter okay we are done with one downloading next let me type employees database okay okay this is just a my skill forums and this is the structure of it you can see the structure how they are connected but where is the file ah here we are employees db dot on github can you copy this url uh, let's get and send it to me both first one and second one if you sent it over the chat that would be great or paste it in the notepad now i'll click on this code can i click on this code on uh, next click green button click on that green button code once again sir let me copy that url code okay oh, oh. notepad type madra ja hum sir okay this is one the second one okay double click on it copy it perfect paste it okay perfect now go to chrome click on that download select the last one download the zip perfect okay perfect so can you click on that download tab okay perfect this is getting downloaded meanwhile let me go to the show in folder and i'll go to f drive software 2021 paste it world sql file extracted don't worry everything is getting recorded this is the sql file i'll copy this url watch my screen now i'll exit this now it is present in f drive cd space f drive f colon now i need to type a command mysql minus u root 
minus p minus t lesser symbol world dot sql enter then press root access is denied why is it so sir r is capital first let sir what is this okay 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 no worries now you can see it got executed now let me go back to the downloads again i want to even install the other one which is the employees test db i'll put it in f drive software 2021 this is all sample data online available so test 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 and we have employees.sql file okay perfect let me copy this cd now i need to type the same command but this time it will be employees all these commands are available online now this will take couple of minutes not more than that let's wait for this to complete the loading of all the informations all these are sample data loading the data from titles and all if you are very much interested in knowing the commands you can just go and open those files don't worry we'll work on the basic uh, queries first then we'll try to understand all these all these are the sql admins assume that i am an sql admin now i know all these commands how it works how loading works so before jumping as an sql admin we should know how to load the data okay done so let me clear it mysql minus u root minus p root okay sorry it's r double o t perfect show databases i should i am expecting two databases one is world perfect the other one is employees use use world database show tables perfect three tables use employees database show tables from it yes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 tables perfect use world database again select star from city table it has 4079 records and sql employees has huge it has almost 4 to 5 lakh employees data and to be precise it is having 3 lakh 24 employees i guess so uh, and data around it so here now how do i make use of this in my in my trainings not this data this knowledge of sql how i will bring it into the notice you will learn that as and when we progress in the training this is just a day one tomorrow you will start understanding how i'll be using sql marketing cloud and the email communication hope it makes sense so and nachike can you just stop sharing your screen perfect sir thank you <clears throat> and let me stop recording this